Hey guys, how's it going? I am the law and now I'm Axis and we are here to protect you from bad Pokemon trainers So we're not gonna have a long intro <laughs> Because we always have long intros. Yeah, so. we're just gonna jump right into this challenge. Yeah We are having a kind of bad rating right now, but it is what it is. It is what it is We're gonna bring of course the same Mega Beedrill team with Root and Wash, Hydreigon, Peter, Arthur Relegator, Scissor, Heatran and of course the Mega Beedrill so our first person is going to be a 1421 rated player from Japan. Ooh, are we going to see Talonflame? Oh no Talonflame! No Talonflame! Oh this is such an annoying team though. I know for a fact that uh, that Lipar can be a pain in the ass because it has got that prankster ability so all his uh, status moves will be priority. But I believe Beedrill will be fine this game. Definitely will. And then I kind of want to bring Scissor as well, just because, you know, he can take on that Breloom. Yeah, take a picture of the team. Yeah, I'm Axis. trying. <laughs> it's not really working out though. It isn't. Like, no. No. We'll just have to memorize it. Unless yep. we can get a better picture. What else? We got the... Good enough. Yeah. Yeah, so we, we got the Breloom here. And we definitely um, want to bring Scissor, because Scissor can stop Breloom in his tracks. By... The fact that it's got the... what's it called? It's got the Lumberry. That's what it's called. He's got the Ditto. He's got the Ditto. Ooh. That can be actually be a threat with the Imposter ability. But what last should we bring? I, I want to bring for Alligator just for that stupid, stupid, stupid Garchomp. Yeah, I mean... Oh, but Heatran does well against this in this team as well. Well, no. It's it's always such a hard choice yeah. with with the guard jump because they're so versatile due to yeah. <laughs> the fact that they can run pretty much everything. Yeah, like Rocky Helmet, uh, Choice Scarf, Choice Band, Sash, Lumberry with Sword Stance and all that. But I believe for Alligator is the play to make because I was thinking about bringing Heatran for the Altaria, but Scissor stops the Altaria, so I think we'll be fine here. Powerful music. Well, now it's kind of quiet, but I haven't heard this before. Let's turn it up a bit. <laughs> the music is the most intense ever. B drill Against onto the, Bre the Breloom. So, we're just going to Mega Evolve and Protect here, because there's no reason not to. Wait, what team did they have? Do we have the picture? Yeah. So he had uh, Altaria, he had Ditto, he had Lipard, he had... It. So he's gonna stay in, that's nice. We're gonna map Mega Evolve and get a Protect off. He so has the Holucha. Yeah, he's got the Holucha. We're gonna get a Protect off, we're gonna see a Spore here most definitely. And then we're just gonna... Oh, I love playing these. Counter? Counter? This guy's real! This guy's real as... Oh my god, now we just have to straight up switch, because if he counters on... Uh, oh my god, that is powerful. That is a powerful, powerful, powerful Pokemon. But we're gonna switch in our... Our Scissor here and hopefully get a... Get the Lumberry. Get the Lumberry going. He's gonna go for counters, so that's fine. But here, what do we do? Tailwind? No, we... We might just bug bite or aerial ace predicting a spore. I believe that's the play to make. I'm thinking would he counter twice in a row? That's kinda yeah, crazy, exactly. but it's a thing that he might yeah. even do. Well uh, I say we should go for aerial ace. He's gonna go for protect. Okay, so this is a very <laughs> very very weird uh, what's it called? Prelum. But now that he's revealed Protect, I believe he's gonna counter now just to get the knockout onto Scissor, so why not just Tailwind? Like, even if he does... Uh, yeah, even if he attacks physically... Or if he goes for a Spore, we got the Lumberry, so... I believe Tailwind is a play. Definitely. Please show us Spore or a... Maybe counter now. Oh, counter now would've been great. Yeah. It is the counter, okay. So this guy... He's just trying to counter us to death. Yeah. <laughs> like, should we just go for an aerial ace by this rate? Like, if he counters our scissors to death, we can just come in with our either 
either what's it called uh, play the the relegate yeah. or he might even try to stall out a turn yeah uh, off tail will. would protect yeah yeah he does that is stupid stupid that he can just go ahead and do that <laughs> like he's gonna have a sash and he's gonna counter us now but I don't believe that there is anything we can do because we only got physical attackers with us so. Let's see how much this array lace does. It's probably gonna knock him down to the sash. Yeah. Counter. <laughs> if he would spore now. No, because we're counter. That's gonna bop us. But you know. We, we're actually kind of fine here. Because. Yeah, we got the tail one up. Um, the question oh, is. Oh, do we set up with for alligator? I kind of don't want to do that at this rate because he could go for a bullet seed and take us out. So <laughs> that is kind of risky. So let's not let's not do that. Yeah, just let's just uh, KO this guy. Yeah. You turn out of this. Protect. Yeah. Well, I mean it's kind of obvious because he wanted to stall out yeah. the turn of Tailwind, but and it's there kind it of goes. Boring as well. But as what we all annoying. know, speed release is speed a little, speed little bug. So he will outspeed this, this. Uh... He goes for the. <laughs> like, what is the <laughs> point? What is the point? You're not getting any leftovers. You're not getting anything. The only thing that that is doing is that is that it is dragging this battle out. So <laughs> look, like, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it's just trying to be annoying. He was, he was very, annoying. very successful <laughs> doing that. So now we're gonna reveal our for alligator. But let's check our opponent's team. So he has one Pokemon that we haven't seen. Yeah, and uh, no two. Because he led with the problem. Well, he led with the problem. Okay, that's actually interesting. He got a ditto. ditto. So he's gonna impose their R for alligator, but. Uh, I believe setting up here is the play to make because yeah I believe that's the play to make because Ice Punch or Aquafall Aquafall, <laughs> Aquafall. <laughs> or Waterfall or Aqua Jet won't do shit and maybe this guy is Choice Scarf so like I see many people running Choice Scarf Dittos just to be able to come in like this and always be able to outspeed but he's gonna have to lock himself into Waterfall or something stupid like that I, I hate that he sees the moveset when he's for alligator, our for alligator is gonna go for dragon dance. Winning the speed ties, he's gonna go for a dragon, dragon dance. dance. That is no coincidence. Should we go for another one? I believe we should. Or maybe not. Like, what can we do to, to get rid of him at this, this point? Like, how much will a plus one uh, waterfall due to a relegator I have no idea let's go for that set and with oh my god this is taking like I'm running damage calcs now because <laughs> I've never seen a relegator like I haven't seen a relegator attacking him and a relegator so I have no idea how much a waterfall will do Let's go with the same setup here. Uh, for alligator. What the goose? This is. <laughs> yeah, I think we should go for a dragon dance. Yeah, I don't me think too. it's going to. Yeah. The Cal oh. say should go for a dragon dance, so we're gonna go for a dragon dance. Is he is going to stay in and go for what? Let's see. He's also going for a dragon dance. So we're gonna check the uh, let's check this plus two waterfall still won't do shit. Oh no, but he's wait. Let's check this life orb and sheer force. I forgot to put that in. Uh, waterfall is over half, so I think we should just attack at this point. Yeah, I try to take him down. <laughs> I mean, stupid as ditto. <laughs> We, we are set up now, so yeah. there's not really much else we can do here. Ice Punch? Bro? What's this guy doing? Bro? No stab. 
And there's no chance to freeze because of sheer force. Bruh! Get knocked out <laughs> with the crit! With the crit, oh my okay. god! Hexor with us today! Get absolutely bodied! That is insane. And now we're all already set up, so th things are looking out for us. This light part is gonna be the last. Yeah, we are plus two speed here, so. We're just gonna go for the waterfall, of course. He's gonna go for assist. And. Oh, that's right. Oh, that okay. absolutely stinks. Ah. Like, assist makes you use a move from a another Pokemon's slot, and assist is a status move, so. <laughs> that stupid life or gets prior priority on it. And. He's gonna go for a substitute, so this can be a very annoying battle now. Frogator wakes up though, goes for waterfall, and here we should actually go for Aqua Jet, just to prevent him to get some spores up. I really think that's a play to make, like, really lucky that we could have... Yeah, I just woke up like yeah, that. Straight wow. up woke up. The hacks. The hacks is... They are there are always hacks when you're, when you're <laughs> here with us. Yeah. <laughs> like, the first battles that we... <coughs> That we ever battled with like Tyra Banks and all oh, that. Yeah. He goes down. Yeah, he goes down to the Aqua Jet. So for Alligator pulls through this game, that is nice. I like to see for Alligator pulling through. But anyways, as yeah. I was saying, there's always been hacks when Axis is with us. Like the first when Tyra Banks were avoiding that stupid leaf storm and like the <laughs> two episode two episodes ago. Oops, saving my battle with a video. Two episodes ago, like all of the games were determined due to hacks. <laughs> yeah. Like, one was a will wisp miss, another one was like a a damage roll, and what was the third one? The third one uh, we just kind of got outplayed by yeah. the age slash, so yeah. But that's but the thing, anyway. <coughs> hacks is a part of the game, and uh, you kind of have to count with it. Yeah, I mean, there's always an RNG factor. Yeah. Uh, somehow. But now we're back at neutral rating, so... I mean, it, it prevents the game from getting stale, so... Yeah. I'm totally fine with it. Even though it yeah, doesn't like it, always play out in your favor. <laughs> it can be a lot of fun, but it can also be very annoying and... Uh, yeah. Frustrating. So our next opponent is gonna be another Japanese person, rated 1556, with a team of Klefkid, Ditto... Ditto again. Latios, Gyarados... What's that stupid thing called? Blaze again. And uh, Gengar. So could you take a picture, Axis? Do my best. Yeah. So, let's see. Like, Rotom Wash is kind of good here against the... What's that thing called? Gyarados and the Blaziken. We don't really have anything to counter Blaziken other than Rotom and Fur Alligator. Hmm. This is a tough spot to be in, actually, because I just hate seeing that Ditto. Hydreigon does great, I look great, or great, I mean, like, okay against this team. Can Dark Pulse the Gengar for knockout, can the Draco Meteor the Latios? Hmm, let's see. Like, Rotom is a given in this game, I believe. And then Beedrill. Beedrill kind of gets. doesn't get anything done this game. Heatran could be a thing. Heatran could definitely be a thing just to stop that cliff key and it uh, yeah, well, doesn't stop anything else actually. <laughs> yeah. Scissor kind of stops the cliff key as well because it's got that lumberry. I think we should bring Scissor. Yeah, so Scissor, Hydreigon, Rotom. Yeah, I believe that is the Pokemon to bring. Actually. And we're leading with probably Hydra because he can outspeed anything on his team unless that Gengar is Scarfed, which I hardly believe it is. Should we go for that? I believe we should. Yeah, let's press the confirm button. Yeah. Okay. The hack though. <laughs> this powerful music, like, it is <laughs> extremely intense. Yeah. The composers over and at Nintendo know what they're doing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this music. We can't go for Draco safely though, and that is something we have to look out for, but. Here is where I just want to straight up switch out into Scizor. Because 
because, because, because. Because we can get our Lumberry. And hopefully he's gonna go for a Swagger. And we can get plus two attack, that would be awesome. So, should have probably led with this or this game, but it is what it is. So he's gonna actually withdraw and go out into... Gyarados, yeah, so... This is very bad, <laughs> obviously, but I believe he's just gonna go for a Thunder Wave here. Should we switch out into Rotom, because Rotom absolutely stops this Gyarados. Yeah, and explaining that first turn a little better though, I didn't want to go for High Dragon, but go for Fire Blast with High Dragon because he had like Gyarados, he had could switch out into Ditto and get his Imposter, and then it would do nothing, and he can switch out into Blaze again. Like there were so many factors that could have gone wrong with going with Fire Blast. So, but anyways, yeah, going out into Rotom, uh, predicting the Thunder Wave. Yeah, and we can actually eat up any hit this guy got. So. And hopefully deal out a burn. So he's gonna just gonna go for the waterfall. Let's see how much this does. Nothing. Nothing. Okay. Absolutely nothing. And he might switch now, predicting the will o wisp. But I mean, something's gonna get the will o wisp. But if he switches into blaze again, he yeah, he's immune. So maybe like T bolt or hydro pump is our best bet. I'm thinking Volt Switch actually. Yeah, I mean Hydro Pump gets kind of useless if it doesn't if switch. If it doesn't switch, yeah, that's right. But Volt Switch give, gives us momentum either, either way, so... Yeah. Let's go for Volt Switch. It is a Mega Gear. It's going to Mega Evolve. Ooh. Are we gonna see Dragon Dance here? I believe it will. Mold Breaker. Oh, he's gonna go for Earthquake. Oh my god. Rotom can Ooh. live it! Oh my god, Rotom is too tanky! That is insane. That is yeah, so insane. we're gonna get the wall switch off here. We're definitely gonna get the wall switch off. Thank god, but he's probably gonna eat it. That, that is a serious <laughs> amount of damage though. <laughs> that, is, that is stupid tankiness, oh my god. Like, Scissor and Bug Bite is probably our best bet here. And it wasn't a defensive Gyarados like many other Gyarados as we have seen. Let's see. I believe Bug Bite is our best bet actually. Because... Yeah. I don't think he's got Blaziken in the back. I, uh, but maybe he does actually. I don't know but... I believe Bug Bite either way is our best play because it will get damage up and then we can just switch out into Rotom to sack it for the to the Levitz. I yeah, mean so if he switches in the but Bug Bite will do a bunch to that uh, Klefki as well so yeah so we we basically need to push forward now yeah so Bug Bite so is, is gonna withdraw who are you going out to show me Klefki, okay. That is fine actually because we got bullet punch. He does nothing to the Klefki. <laughs> well, thought that it would do a bit more, but obviously not. <coughs> He's probably gonna go for a Will O Wisp here, but we have the Lumberry, so there's no reason to switch out here. Bullet punch is gonna do nothing. Not swagger. Very much. Swagger, thank you. That's thank risky. You. That is thank very you. risky. Oh my god. Yeah, Hopping the Lumberry. So the Lumberry. <laughs> we might Thumbs even up. we might even kill him from this range now that now that we are at plus two. Oh my god, that is so good. That is so good. Thank you for swaggering us. <laughs> uh, I don't think it will, it will kill though. No, it better no. miss out. Is this gonna go from that swagger? Wow. Like if we get a bullet punch up now, he's screwed. Like we're at plus four. With max attack, we got 200 attack, and we can just take out any other Pokemon he's got with the scissor. If we, if we can break through this, yeah. Now it's a coin flip, <sighs> essentially. I hate this. I hate this so much. Let's see what the hacks say. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it does over up. He's gonna go for another swagger. Like what? If, if we if we snap out of confusion now, it's done. It is done. 
Yeah, so now it's this basically a coin flip to sack <laughs> or oh to sack God. or scissor. What are you gonna go for another bullet punch? Please, dear God. Ah, so unlucky. We're so unlucky. Oh, that stinks. That absolutely stinks. I mean, like, is that your only strat? To just <laughs> pray to God that Swagger... Win winning the, on the coin flips. <sighs> like... Oh, that is so annoying. If we if we would have got a one bullet punch off, we would have definitely swept this guy. But T bolt maybe probably will knock out this thing and probably will do a, a bunch to that Gyarados if you want to switch it in. But he's just gonna go for Swagger, so I want to get this thing out of the way. <laughs> Let's go for T bolt. <laughs> like fun strats, bro. <laughs> Real fun strats. Please, Rotom. Thank you, Rotom. There it goes. That's a key bolt. And that's a knockout. So, oh my God, he just can't, he can just come out, come in with his freaking Gyarados and uh, earthquake now. Yeah. Like he. Oh my God. Will an earthquake kill our 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 high dragon though? Should we run the, run, run the calcs? I think we should, because we can't afford like misplaying here. Mega Giara, those. Okay, and then we have our that high dragon. Key go. That cleft key. Like, <laughs> like it is so lucky, but it is what it is, I guess. Uh, an earthquake will will do. Let's check. How many time? Oh, we got time. So earthquake will do 45 to 53 percent. So hydrogen is our switch here. So freaking lucky, man. But anyways, hydrogen is gonna come in. He's gonna go for the earthquake, of course. Yeah, that's the 53% roll. Yeah, he got the high roll, but <coughs> should we just go for U U turn, maybe? Because I don't think Draco Drake will not kill him from that range, judging by how much the thun thunderbolt did mm -hmm. on the bolt switch. Sorry. Yeah, we gotta get we gotta get damage off. Yeah, and still conserve. Oh wow! Yeah, so <sighs> he can just really hard. He can just click earthquake to win now. Yeah. Like our only chance now if we get a flinch with the dark pulse. He was obviously gonna buff us, and I, I believe we should make that because, like, if we go for Draco, let's check his team. Yeah. So. If we go for Draco and he... He has to blaze again, he might have Latios, Ditto or Gengar, so... Yeah. Dark Pulse, I believe, is our best bet. Because, like, if he... A Dark Pulse crit flinch here would be nice. <laughs> <laughs> because if we lock ourselves into Draco and uh, then his last one is, like, Gengar, we just straight up lose. Oh, that sucks. That freaking coin flip, though. Flinch? He's no. gonna go for Dragon Dance. He goes for the D Dance. And that is gonna seal up the game. Or maybe not, we're showing Scarf, so we might outspeed actually. Or now that I'm thinking of it, we probably won't. We do! So if we can get a Flinch here. Which we don't. Which we absolutely don't. So, our opponent just won straight up with hacks. I am. <laughs> I'm not going to be ashamed to say that because. That is so freaking lucky, like, just spamming swagger with your stupid Klefki, like, good strats, bro. <laughs> Real good strats, like. Yeah, I mean, we were, we were technically plus six. Yeah. There in the end. And, like, what's the point? Like, is it even fun? Is it even fun to just spam that move? Oh, we're deep into the recording, but I believe we could have time for one more, actually. I believe we do have time. 
Let's switch swench up. Swench up the music. <laughs> Trying to say change and switch at the same time. Swench. Swench up the music. I hate those clef kicks. <laughs> like I, can't, I can't even explain how salty I am now because, like, his only strats were to swagger. Good player. But, anyways, the next opponent is a another Japanese person with a Larios. I had almost an Excadrill. I meant to say a Sumerill. <laughs> Greninja and uh, Age Slash, Salamence and Diggersby. So Salamence is probably the the Mega Evolution right there. Almost most definitely. And 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 or maybe it's Ladias, but what's it called? Uh, Salamence is definitely the more you the more used. So hmm. Rotom is always is good because they can stop that Age Slash pretty good because you know King's Shield <coughs> the Willow is goes through the King's Shield so Rotom is good in this game. Rotom um, I'm not seeing my Dragon is pretty good, but I believe Rotom High Dragon and Beedrill is the play. Yeah, because we we can't really set up against this team. No. Uh, like, so I mean, Rotom for Alligator is a very strong combo. Yeah. Uh, but but like Beedrill gets so much damage off, and that Age Slash can kind of stop. Yeah, but we got Rotom and High Dragon to deal with it, so I think we'll be fine, actually. And. We got Poison Jab for the Assumeril with our Beedrill, we got Will-O-Wisp for all those physical attackers. So I think this is the this is the team. I believe this is the team. Should we go for it? Yeah, Beedrill, Hydreigon, Rotom, we've seen it before. Have you taken a picture? Yeah, I have. So, yeah, so let's just jump into the battle. Let's go. We're gonna lead with Beedrill because he can outspeed almost anything on his team. Except for that Salamence, I believe. But let's see, let's see, let's see. This is my favorite music of <laughs> in battle spot. Salamence, of course. Style. I believe that we should just straight up switch out into Rotom because, like, if he sets up a Dragon Dance, that'll be bad, and maybe he'll go for Earthquake. We don't know. So I believe Rotom is our switch in here. Because he resists both of no, but not both, but one of his stabs. So should we go for it? Yeah, I mean, like we brought Rotom he, he, to stop this thing. So. Yeah, and we led with Beatrill, thinking that it would outspeed and outspeed something, but we it's, don't. It's the Mega, yeah, it is the Mega. And are we gonna see a physical or a special? Hopefully, a physical, because we can burn it. It is a physical, so a plus two anything won't take our Rotom out. And did he have any fire types? I don't think he did. Um, let's see. Or any Pokemon with magic bounce. He has Larias, Greninja, Slash, Sumeril, Digger Spear. Yeah, so no, nothing that can eat up a Will O Wisp, so that is definitely the play to make. Rotom, can you land this? Double edge. He's gonna. Wow. Bring us down into citrus range. That is good because then we can out outspeed. I almost said we can survive another okay, one. Okay, here we go. I'm nervous. Thank you, Rotom. Yeah, of course. Oof. Thanks, Rotom. Like, like it should be. Yeah, Acor exactly. According like to the math. <laughs> according to the math. Yeah. That's how it should be. And here I believe just T bolting or volt switching. Maybe even volt switching because like. Yeah, I mean, do we have an actual reason to to keep Rotom oh, but, in? But, but if he starts setting up more, if he sets up another Dragon Dance, he can just sweep us, so... I believe we should just stay in and go for Thunderbolt, Thunderbolt actually. He's got the sound. That's oh, powerful. Lit. That is such a powerful... Like, props to you, man, for using that. That is very, very, very powerful. And here there's nothing to yeah, do so but to sack or... Rotom and go for the Thunderbolt. Like, that facade though. Like, Rotom is tanky enough so he can live it, but uh, it's a nice move to have. Definitely a nice move to have. 
and the recording is gonna stop in like five seconds. So yeah. So we're gonna cut back to you guys. Yeah. Uh, that. Hey again, guys. It was only for a short moment, but this uh, camera kind of he can, he can only record in uh, thirty minutes seconds. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. So we sacked Rodum. Yeah. Um, and now we're, we're just gonna to make go a Volvo protect with our V drill because another burn will hopefully take him out. Or maybe not actually. But I, but I believe the Mega Evolution Protect is the best play either way. Beedrill's Beedrill Light is going to activate and uh, let's see. Protect of course is gonna come out and uh, we'll, we'll be see a facade or a dragon dance here. Facade so, facade, so yeah he's gonna take nice. some burn damage. And he's gonna get knocked out so. He goes down to the burn, that's very fortunate. Yeah but like the burn was very crucial there actually yeah <laughs> with Rotom that is <laughs> yeah if, if Rotom would have missed there yeah, it would have been game over and so <laughs> and now it switches in his uh, this thing and I don't think this thing can outspeed a adamant beater though let's check I got the Pokemon showdown here, showdown here. so let's just Check out Digger Speed Base. Digger Speed Base speed is what? It's 78. I don't think that even with a beneficial nature and a choice scarf, he will outspeed us. I really don't think so. Put him at level 50. The speed is going to be 130 with a. Oh, he might outspeed us actually. Can you like help with my phone if. 143 times uh, 1.5 This is intense <laughs> I'm gonna check my speed, it is 197 uh, well, We're just gonna switch because I am fearing the... I'm definitely fearing the scarf Definitely fearing the scarf and hopefully it's go he's going to go for a... Fire, fire punch. punch Yeah we can eat that we can eat we that. We can definitely eat that. Let's check his team. What did he have? Yeah, so... Probably Dark Pulse is our best bet, I believe. No, we've <laughs> seen the Digger Spear, we've seen the Salamence. He might have... Aegis Slash, Greninja, Sumeril, Sumeril, or Latios. So, he's got something to that... Uh, he's probably gonna switch out, though. Probably going to switch out. Should we just U turn predicting the switch? Yeah, I mean, why would he stay in? He wouldn't stay, into, he, he, he's locked into Fire Punch, it doesn't do anything. Yeah. He's gonna withdraw. We went for U turn, so that is a good play. That is definitely a good play. He goes out into a Sumeril. A Sumeril. Great. That is great. So now we can come in with our. Oh, I believe that a adaptability poison gem will just straight up take this guy out. <laughs> this is great. This is absolutely great. Yeah, but Azumarils are powerful though. Yeah. Like, it's not the Pokemon you'd expect to be so tanky. <laughs> no, I know. It's got a high hit points. High hit points, like 207 at max. At level 15, that is a lot. Yeah, but I remember when I was when I was younger playing Generation 3 and I yeah. had my Azumarill and it was wrecking all... Beedrill, calm down. Beedrill, calm down. You yeah, have to chill. Beedrill yeah, is enforcing the law right now. <laughs> like, he's almost breaking the law because he's so, he's so mean. He's so powerful. Yeah, so he's so. That's the <clears throat> bigger speed, and he's locked. He's probably going to lock himself into quick attack or something like that. But we're gonna go for U-turn either way. We actually outspeed. Oh, how much will this do? Bruh! <laughs> <laughs> with the crit, with the crit, <laughs> I don't know if it mattered. Oh. I do not know if it mattered, but in the long run, it wouldn't have mattered because we could just go out into our yeah we hydrate. We were in a two two versus one scenario yeah. right there, and even if we would have taken our our hydrate out, we would have come back in with our mega beat drill and went for a U turn and took him taking him out. So. That is great. That is very good. That and is very very good. We are out of time. We're for this episode. <laughs> so thank you guys a lot for watching. As always, if you enjoyed, make sure you leave a like. 
If you want to see more, make sure you leave a sub. And if you want to see a set suggestion or like a Pokemon on this team, make sure you leave that set suggestion in the comment section below. Ooh, so we'll see you guys next time. Yeah. So, uh, bye guys. Bye.